team, um, kind of expose some things. You know, you look at it, first quarter, uh, I think we had four plays, maybe five plays they had the ball in most of the first quarter. You know, we cut it to seven right there before half. I think there was a minute, 50 seconds, something like that. And uh, they had the big pass play for the touchdown. They got the momentum back. Third quarter, uh, we didn't play good in any phase. Uh, fourth quarter, put Dylan Risk in it. He gave us a little bit of boost, a little bit of life right there. But overall, uh, disappointing loss. Um, you know, hats off them. They're a good team, but but we didn't play our best football, and that's what disappoints me. Questions? Coach, you, know, you thought that Jacoby Brown, you know, having the full week of practice with the ones, yeah. was going to play better. What did you think of his performance passing the ball? And just talk more about that decision to put in Dylan and what you thought of his performance later yeah, in the quarter. Yeah, uh, well, you know, uh, you know, JB, they took away the quarterback run, which – that's what teams will start doing now, and um, you know we didn't, we weren't real successful. We were okay with RPOs, but we missed some things. Obviously, turning the ball over, um, you know, and so put Dylan in there, and he gave us a spark and did a really good job with the progression, all that. You know, we didn't want to put EJ in there for the red shirt and all that. You start thinking about that this time of year with the two games already played. And, but Dylan sees a moment. He did a good job, gave us some life right there, and I think he led us to what uh, two touchdowns. Yes, this is Jacuri, your quarterback, still moving forward. You know, right now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out, watch the film, and we're going to figure out whoever gives us the best chance in every position. I mean, you know, we're in the same situation we were last year, and we got to figure out a way to finish the same way we did last year. So we'll watch the film, and, and we'll decide. And how, how frustrating has it been for the quarterback position for you guys? I mean, obviously, to keep, you've got four guys you've, had, you've got seen action this year. How frustrating is that for you guys? That's yeah, I mean, it's frustrating the fact that, that we didn't play good football today. That's what's frustrating. I expect us to play better, and we didn't. That's very disappointing. Um, I said Dylan at the end, and we gave him, gave him some life. Coach, obviously, Kobe Hudson went down early. How do you feel like the uh, wide receivers around him stepped up to the plate? And um, is there that anything was one you tell of the positives, the guys around him, that they, they stepped up and made plays when they had to. You know, Kobe, um, you know, had a, had, a, had a big game. Uh, he's a really talented player. You know, I don't know exactly the severity of Colby and all that, but obviously he's one of our best players. Jakari's moving the team downfield and that, that taunting penalty, how disruptive was it? Yeah, you're trying to I, do I didn't see exactly what happened. I mean, I'll, I'll watch it on film. I mean, I was thinking about the next play and all of a sudden saw a flag and any time a guy hits quarterback, you think it's on them, but I don't know exactly what happened. I'll look at it. We'll see. Yes. Yeah, as you kind of alluded to, you were three and zero last year, and then lost five straight. Three and zero this year, lost five straight. Now, emotionally, does it feel different? Is it more disappointing considering that you kind of stressed that it wasn't going to be the same? Yeah, I mean, I'm disappointed the fact that we didn't play good football today. That's what I'm disappointed in. What we got to do, we find ourselves in the exact same situation where we were last year. We got to figure out a way to finish like we did last year. What do you think uh, some adjustments that can be made where you can't actually get the job done, like you say, just put together a good game of good football? What what needs to change? Well, what you saw today, there's quite a few things that need to change. And what we got to do is we got to look at the film, we got to evaluate it, we got to figure it out, and we got to finish. You know, like I just said, like we did last year. And you got you, you alluded to it like three or four last year to make a bowl game. What what about this locker room and the guys you have? Do you believe that you can rattle off three or four to make? Yeah, I mean, I've said it all along. Our guys, I mean, they're they're going to keep battling. Uh, they'll come ready to practice next week, and, and they'll give it their best. And like I said, we got to play better. I mean, we, you know, anytime you play a really good team, certain things get exposed. And um, you know, like I said, we didn't play good. Give them credit; they're a really good team. Which is another 100-yard game for RJ Harvey. Another two touchdowns as well. How does he kind of maybe provide a foundation for you to be able to bounce back after something? I mean, RJ is one of our leaders in our locker room. Um, he's got everybody's ear. He's a, he's a wonderful person, wonderful player, and, um, you know, another another really good game for him. What's the status as far as your secondary is concerned? Mac McWilliams and Ladarius Tennyson didn't dress. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then yeah Tennyson, Tennyson had vertigo before the game, and he was dizzy. It was just a tough deal. And then Mac, his hamstring, he just he wasn't ready. You know, he wanted to play, but it, we felt like we needed to – have another another week. You know, obviously he's a really good player. Braden Marshall went down, and you know we're playing a bunch of young guys. It's next man up at this time of year. That's what that's what happens. You got to have next guy ready. Do you still? What happened to Brandy back then? Uh, you know, I'm not for sure. You know, he's been battling some different ailments and all of that. Uh, 
Brown got a ton of pain penalty after a great run that saw Mo down a defender. What did you tell him after that? You know, celebrating over the defender. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I was fixing to call the next play. I hit the quarterback. I thought it was on them, so I was thinking we had the ball for five and all that. And all of a sudden, I see him, ask him what happened. He didn't. I mean, we'll watch on film. I mean, obviously, it was a mistake. It cost us 15 yards. You know, and we really. Um, you know, I think we had a field goal on that drive, but that would have been nice to have the ball. I don't know if it was the 10 or the 12 yard line. That's what you see out of your defense tonight. What, where do you think they need to get some more improvement? Yeah, we got to get off the field. I mean, it was they had two 90 yard drives. And, you know, you, you go first down, it's a fourth and about a yard, maybe a yard and a half early in a game. And you got a chance, you know, hey, do you go for it or do you try to pin them? We pinned them and then they drove the field and scored a touchdown. I mean, we, we got to correct that. I mean, we got to correct that. Got to get off the field, you know, the quarterback. I think that long, you know, we had a quarterback scramble. Our emphasis was we got to do a better job in the pocket. You know, the second half, our defense did better. I mean, they, they had some TFL, sack, strip sack, all that. Uh, but the first of the game, you know, they, they uh, uh, that was a tough time. Kobe Hudson, is there an indication of how serious his injury is? I, I don't know. He was on the sidelines. Um, I really don't know what to talk to the doctor. Some challenges with the, the tackling in this one that must be frustrating as well. Yeah, we, we didn't tackle our best, and you know we, we tackled pretty good uh, this year, especially against the run. Uh, they broke probably more tackles than any other team that, that we played against. What are your thoughts on fans' reactions to this team? These losses, obviously, the stadium looking a little bit more empty earlier on in the game. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, my thoughts are we got to play better football uh, to keep them in the, in the stadium. That's that's really the, the bottom line. We got to play better. Yes, when you lose four or five in a row, um, how do you keep the guys believing? How do you how do you, this coaching staff keep the lead? Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's what you got to do. You know, we have a staff that's that's close. We have a team that's close. Um, you know, our guys, we got good leadership. They know we didn't get it done tonight. We got to figure out a way to, to get it done. We got to finish this thing. And. There's no doubt in my mind we have the leadership that uh, those guys will keep fighting. They'll keep it together. Time for a few more. Jacoby Brown, what, what, the, the, what you saw from the times, did you, did you like some of the things going on for the football? The passing game seemed to work a little bit at times or in the first half. Did you like some of that? Work? Yeah. Where do you see some of the The RPOs I thought were really good. Um, you know, a straight drop back wasn't, you know, we got to continue to improve that. And like I said, they had a good scheme. They decided to stop him, they would clog it in the middle, they could push the ball in the perimeter, they got some good players on the outside, and, you know, daring us to throw it, and, um, you know, we got to be able to uh, to uh, to do that when, uh, when it presents itself. Coach, being in this situation last year, and now, again, back in the same situation, but you did finish last year, where you did become bowl eligible, what are some things that you did last year that you maybe tried to implement this year so you guys can finish strong? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll evaluate things, um, you know, each week's a separate week, we got to find a way to win that first game. I mean, really, that's that's the bottom line. It, it, next week, we need to win the win the game. I mean, that's your approach, and that's what our guys will be striving for. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you, coach.